up, everybody, and welcome into the Zeke Lounge. The Zeke Lounge. The Zeke Lounge. The Zeke, 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 Zeke. Club Zeke. Sounds Whoa. like the hottest club in all of Denver. Um, no <laughs> club's <right>. real. <laughs> um, off to a hot start here. No, one of the newest nuggets. And the most interesting guy, a.k.a. the Piano Man. Mm. Piano Man. Have you guys heard that? Yeah, I heard he plays, he plays piano. piano. <laughs> it's a really cool detail. Um, but Zeke Naji, man, uh, we were here on draft night. We were a little... Maybe underwhelmed at the pick when it yep. happened, but shame on us because we have become overwhelmed with Zeke Naji's just uh, mystique. Just and went skill right, set. swung yeah. hard to the other side. We're so easy. All it <laughs> took was one half of preseason basketball. It was a great half. We're it was a great in, half. Baby. But so coming out of the University of Arizona, college, you know, college star, college standout. Let's yep. take a look at the numbers here. Um, offensively, he has some gifts, man. Look at the rebound, sixteen points. Um, eight and a half rebounds, and then you get into the field goal percentage, 57%. True shooting, 63. That's a plus. That's really good. He had that mid-range game. He didn't necessarily have the three-point game at the college level, but he had that mid-range stroke that just looks absolutely gorgeous. What stands out to you? 8.6 rebounds. I mean, yeah, beast. we talk about the shooting as something that he needs to develop, but the rebounding is something he brings with him right into the NBA right away. Offensive rebounder, I'd say he's well above average and you know could very well work his way into that you know, that, that sort of territory of the best offensive rebounders in the league. Those are his gifts that he has right now, um, and I think they're valuable. I think he, he's a he's a ready-to-go big, although I know Tim Connolly views him more as a project. And I think he's got a lot of NBA skills. He enters the league with a, a lot of really projectable skills and some stuff he can already do, like shooting, um, his ability to move on the perimeter and defend smaller guards on switches. I think he's going to be able to do that. Rebounding, how he runs the floor – he just has the skill set of a modern day big, I think, and a modern day big that you would want in kind of a Nuggets type of offense. Yeah, he looked so unbelievably solid in every in every way you can use that word. Like he his uh, the jump the, the form on his jump shot is just so pristine. Uh, the way that he was moving around, like he came in the very first play that he had in the in the preseason game was he blocked a shot which we all thought that that was something right. he was not <laughs> right. good at. He didn't do it in college. Um, <laughs> right. The one the one like major drawback with him is that like I cannot believe he cut his hair. I know. Look at his hair. I Look know. at this. Like it's animated. He's uh, grown it out now. I think he's coming back. He's coming back. He better grow up. Why, why would he get rid of it before his big uh, debut? I'm a little. So he's all business, baby. All right. He's well, all business. So that's obviously a character flaw, but we'll work <laughs> on it. Uh, the thing that sticks out to me when I just analyze his game that's that's not really talked about is his ability to move his feet on the perimeter, and we even saw a little bit of this in the game the other day. And it's kind of funny to me if you watch these guys. This happens every year when you're scouting the draft and you watch these guys in college. You're like, man, that guy's massive. Then they get in the NBA and they're like, oh, that's just a normal yeah. power forward. Yeah. That's how Zeke Naji. When I watch his highlights, and maybe it is the hair because it. I mean, there was a lot of volume, I tremendous know. volume on the hair. Move so it made him volume. look maybe four inches taller. Mm -hmm. But when I watch him in college, I'm like, this guy's bigger than everybody. He's a beast. He's a center. This that. You get him in the NBA and you're like, oh yeah, he really is like a four, yeah. a power forward that can move. And so I think his mobility and his and the upside he has on his jumper, the two things that stand out the most uh, to me let's go to the big question Zeke's upside whenever you go to the draft you're always wanting upside you always want that star player does Zeke Naji have star potential to you Harrison Wind like what's his what, what is his like 100th percentile of outcome not a star <laughs> uh, I don't wow. think he has star potential uh, I, I do think he would have the potential to be a lower end starter I think he could be a starter on some teams on a Really good team like the Nuggets, he's probably a backup. Um, but he's definitely an NBA player. Definitely a, a high-level rotation player. Yeah, yeah you're, you're talking about trying to be a star in your role. Like, I saw you roll your eyes a little bit when I said maybe be one of the better offensive rebounders in the league. But I think, like, that sort of – like, that would be the ceiling on it. Becomes him, right? the emphasis Become, for him. Yeah. Right, you, Zeke Nagy checks in. You're a fan of the other team. You're thinking, man, they better be ready to play and box out, right, because this guy's just an animal. Yeah. No. What do you think, Eric? Does he have a little Chris Bosh in him? He does a little he bit. He just, just looks like Chris Bosh. Yeah, too. and the long hair. Like the Chris Bosh I mean, Chris Bosh is career. a Hall of Famer. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, He has the size. He has the jumper. Like, I don't know. What's holding him back from reaching from that being his ceiling? I mean, truly. 
I mean, there's a lot of skills that go into being a star player. You I agree. Be able I'm to just handle, saying, like, you know, you got to be able to listen defend I, I, the I'm, side. I'm just saying, like, if we're talking about like where can this guy ultimately? I mean, he's what 19 years old. I mean, he's he is old. very young. Well, That's another thing. He was a one and done all right, guy. Well, let's actually talk about pulling this thread. What is the path to him becoming a star, likely or unlikely as it may be? No, you have to start with the three point shooting. Yeah, so he's to. shown that beautiful form. It looks like he can extend that to the three point line consistently. He's one for one, I believe, in his NBA career. So Good so start. far, he's, he's he's better than anybody ever. But that's a but, must, I think, if you're talking about starting. So he has to become a like a reliable three point shooter. And we're not even, you know, his shot is a little different from say Jeremy Grant, Jermichael Green, and Paul Millsap. In that, all of them look like big men that taught themselves how to shoot. <laughs> and he looks like a guy that just has a solid shooting motion. Like, yeah. I think he's a guy that could project to have a little bit more gravity. I don't know about shooting it on the move, as in like you know run pin down for him and he hits it. But I do think he's a guy that like is a quick pick and pop, pick and pop, pick yeah. and pop exactly that kind of gravity kind of guy. So that you start there. You talk about perimeter defense, and he's a guy that is there's no drop off. Like if he switches out onto the guard, you're not like oh crap, Tristan Thompson at his peak type player where it's like okay this guy is phenomenal there. And then to your point, vote I think rebounding. Is there anything else that it would take in your mind, Harrison, for him to that he needs to do in order to become that type well, of player? A reason why I just don't see him taking like a Chris Bosh route is just the individual scoring. Yeah, yeah. He's probably going to be a guy who gets his offense off of perimeter jumpers and Second just finishing point. in the paint. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't know how much of his individual offense is going to come from, you know, everything else in between. And, and that's okay. Like right, especially right. on the, like the Nuggets don't need that. Um Maybe if he was going, you know, to another team, they would need just more creation from him uh, off the dribble. So that, that that's where I see him falling short of like a, a Chris Bosh type route. Um, but you know, he, he's got so many intangibles for it to be a high level role player. The other thing, and I mean, this sounds like a joke, but it's not. Like the his piano playing, like <laughs> literally shows a like guy a that has the ability to focus, yeah, have discipline. Stick to something. I, I believe perfect I actually something. like this. Yep. Like, uh, he's. I mean, he's not like he's not like Jamal out there like th th chopsticks. Like he is a very accomplished <laughs> wow, piano what? player. Stray Jamal just bowling. caught a giant stray here. Jamal, like, by what the way, he who do? said, uh, other off, than Jamal, try to play the piano. First I'm sorry. off, first off, when I was auditing the uh, press conference Jamal himself said that he had to get a new hobby because of how good Zeke is yeah. the point being like this is a guy that I could like I, I think already has natural ability and I don't see like he, you can tell he's a worker yeah. so yeah. I think that right now is his defining trait he's coachable he's a hard worker that's what yeah. I think of first absolutely all right so let's go to our over under for Zeke Naji, the big over under here and we're going to talk about his shooting because to me it is like kind of central it's like the foundational piece here 35 percentage. Oof. Who put Man. percentage? 35 percentage. <laughs> three, oh, three point percentage. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, usually you would add a percentage have, on the top. He's, he's so it. eager to bully someone. What are the odds? Uh, Zeke Nagy's three point. 35, 35, <laughs> backfire bully. 35 percentage. Are we going to go over or under this rookie year, him shooting from the three point line vote? I'm going to go over, oh. but on very few attempts. It's going to be four for eight. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> pretty much it. He's that's gonna actually stay at 100%. It. It's tough year. because this was supposed to be G League and regular season. Right. We might only get regular season, and we might only get Zeke Nagy in the garbage. I, I'll tell you what, though. I believe in the idea that Zeke Nagy can be a shooter. Um, when Harrison Wynn says he believes it enough times, when Tim Connolly <laughs> says he believes it enough times, and then we talked to Najee about it, and he was pretty candid. He said, I did that in high school. I did right. it a lot. Right. They just didn't ask me to at Arizona. So I think it's well within, you know, it's on the table for Zeke. Yeah. yeah. I'll go over. Why not? I, just, his form, Eric was talking about it earlier. His form looks like it was just constructed in a basketball laboratory. Absolutely. For, it's so for good. For shooting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very it's, balanced. It's picturesque. It's true. Um, I guess I'm going to go – that part sounds right. 35 sounds right. I'm going to go. <laughs> on the nose. <laughs> Boom. Nailed I'm it. I'm so good at setting these lines. I'm going to go under I, – I mean, part, I, I do think the numbers are going to be really low. They're going to be so fragmented. I don't know that he's going to have a rhythm. Mm. So I don't know if you get in there and you go 0 for 2 one game, and then you don't play for two weeks. Then you go in there for one minute, you go for one – you know, it's just going to be hard. It's so true. I think maybe a little bit of unfair question. But should he break into the rotation, you know – I am curious to see. He has taken one three-pointer in his one appearance. I'm curious to see if that tracks. If he plays five minutes, he every five minutes he gets an opportunity to shoot yeah. a, one of those. I think it will because I, I'm getting the impression that he knows it's a big weapon for him. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows it's something he's got to do. Very true. Also, if he's in the G League, if there is a G League, I feel more confident that 
that's going to hit the over because we know those G League numbers, the shooting numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, they're, they're like bubble. There. They're like bubble numbers. Yeah. Nobody's in there. Crap. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm really curious too. Like um, the evolution of this bench unit is like the most intriguing question mm. to me going into the season because, you know, we saw the weird lineup that we are projecting to do the actual lineup. So, um, but it didn't work that well. And then as soon as they brought in R.J. Hampton and Zeke Naji, it true. started to work really well. So yeah. I, I don't know if. Zeke finds a way into the second unit as a result. Like, I mean, it, I, the, the the chips are definitely stacked against him, being that there's a million good players on this team. He's a rookie. Um, he should be playing in the G League, all of these things. So I don't know what to expect out of him. But um, as far as going beyond this year, like, I think that there, we, we, there's going to be big things for Zeke. Mm-hmm. Let's head to court, guys. Let's pay a visit oh, to baby. Judge court? Eline. Back in court. I thought we were going to have to deal with my parking tickets for a second <laughs> as we're leaving. All right. So I'll rise for uh, the honorable Judge D-Line. Not gonna Literally rise. not, not, not going to rise. Never, no. ro- never risen once. We're going to have a debate here in court because we are trying to find out who is the rightful heir to minutes in the Nuggets rotation this season. Who will get the most? <laughs> It's will it be R.J. Hampton, as Brendan Vogt is going to argue? Or will it be Zeke Naji as Harrison Wynn mm, just found out he's going to... <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Uh, anyway, Judge, I hand it over to you. Um, gentlemen, let's have a good court session, shall we? All right, <laughs> go <laughs> first. <laughs> what an accurate... Uh, the Honorable <laughs> Judge d thank you for uh, allowing me into this court of law. Tonight. Objection, he's kissing your ass. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm going to allow it. <laughs> Here's why Zeke Naji is going to get more minutes than RJ Hampton. He's just ready to play. Z- mm. Zeke Naji is way more ready to play right now than RJ Hampton. We saw what RJ Hampton did in a quote unquote professional environment last season. He really struggled in Australia. Now, I think he's got a lot of upside, but that will come down the line. He really struggled against the physicality. Zeke Naji, he was a big body last year at Arizona. He put on 20 pounds this offseason from the time his college season ended to now. He's bulked up. He's, he'll be able to play right away in the NBA if he's needed, and he's got some translatable skills. The three-point shot is ready to go. The rebounding is ready to go. He's going to run the floor hard. The Nuggets could use all those things. It's a great argument, and I, I wish to you good luck, Brendan Vogt. Thank you, uh, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, we just heard from Michael Malone recently say that Zeke Naji looks overwhelmed at times in training camp. Did we didn't that. hear him he say, that say that about that. RJ. In fact, we did hear Jamal Murray say today that RJ looks great, and I think oh, that's... Oh, objection. No. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> did he not say that? He said RJ was like looking like a jackrabbit no. and cutting when he doesn't need First to cut. First he said he looks really good. <laughs> First he said he looks really good. He just cuts too much. We need All a little right. order here. Right. Uh, right. Hey, I'm there's gonna... not enough cutting on this team, Your Honor. Right. Um, okay. I almost okay. forgot my okay. point. But he, we didn't hear him say that R.J. Hampton looks overwhelmed because R.J. Hampton physically is ready for this league. And and he, he's been playing against grown men and professionals already. He's going to keep getting stronger. I think he's the fastest player on the Nuggets. Athletically, he belongs on the court. He has the chance to shine on the court. And and that's just a baseline that, from day one, puts him puts him in a higher place than Najee. Wow. Judge, wow. do we have a ruling? Well, uh, do we have any counter arguments? Is it, uh, I would just like to counter by saying that I agree with Harrison. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I, I rest my case. All right. Well, in the case <laughs> oh, of R.J. Hampton Who gave versus Zeke Naji. Mm-hmm. In your this, past life, you were definitely not a judge. <laughs> yeah, this is this very unnatural. Court, I'm on, in, also in my current life. In his past life, <laughs> he was just D-line <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Uh, this court finds in favor of Brendan. Just kidding. Harrison Osgood. <laughs> Let's go. Zeke Naji. Hey. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Maybe I should quit my day job. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, escape this with as, uh, quickly, as, as quickly as possible yeah. with our I bold that was, predictions. Uh, some good judging. Let's like make I bold said. predictions and uh, vote. I'll let you go first this time. <laughs> Sure. Uh, so my bold prediction about Zeke Naji is that he will come on the DNBA show. Yeah. Yeah. Piano session. And it will not be to play piano. Uh, it will well, be to we get don't to want know him, anything else about, literally anything else about Zeke. Uh, if he we, wants to play piano, he plays piano. Although, yeah, if that's what it takes to get you on the show. Uh, Zeke, K- Kata is, he just called me, he canceled. So the spot's open. <laughs> just let us know. Unbelievable. That's a super bold prediction. Uh, I'm going to have, my prediction is going to be, he's going to have one 
memorable game for the Nuggets this year. The okay. actual Nuggets. There's going to be one game. To those fake Nuggets. Well, no, no. Well, the G League Nuggets. Yeah, yeah, I get but it. we might have a. Exist. I'm telling you, there might be a game in which we refer to as the Zeke Naji game. So this could just be one shot. Because could there be was, one of course, shot. the Thomas Welsh game, which was just one shot. <laughs> it could be the Thomas Welsh game. Don't have to remind me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's my prediction. It's bold. It is bold. That is bold. One <laughs> game. Wow. I'm gonna, every game now, he's going to have like two points. I'm going to be like, guys, this is it. Game. I told <laughs> you. you guys call this the Zeke game? <laughs> Those free throws, man. Did you see that? <laughs> uh, my bold prediction for Zeke Naji this coming season, he will be more... NBA ready than we think. Oh. oh. Look, he's so young. He I think we court. forget. Um, He's a one and done guy. You know, typically those players, some of them at the top of the draft, yeah, they get on the court early, but a lot of them aren't necessarily ready to play. I think Najee, just his body, his mentality, we saw it in the first preseason game. He just kind of got on the floor and didn't seem like the game was too fast for him. He kind of just fit right in, was moving well within the offense. So I think he's closer to being NBA ready than we think. This guy was not a stiff at Arizona. No, There's a reason uh, the Nuggets were high on him. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I think he's he's definitely more DNBA ready than we think. I, <laughs> uh, I think he'll find his way into regular minutes. Wow. Regular Eric has predicted every player on the roster is <laughs> in regular minutes. You know, have, have you noticed this? Every single guy. Yeah. Marcus no Howard is going to be in the playoffs or something. Don't forget to leave five was, minutes for that Marty. Was that was that actually was Harrison. Yeah. Right. I said he was going to score so 50 in the minute. G League. All right. Who's, who's out? Um, You know, it's going to come down to... Probably Green is going to lose some of his minutes wow. to Zeke Naji. Uh, probably, I, I just I don't know, man. Like I just liked what I saw from him a lot. Mm. I just really was impressed by him, yeah. um, and I wasn't alone. Like the the comment section was on fire when discussing Zeke Naji. So um, people see it. He looks like an NBA guy. He just stepped right onto the court and produced, and that means something, you know. Zeke is an elite first name for an athlete. Great name, like. first really, name. really, really, really first one. Great hair. He's got a lot of things. Zeke going is for like him. normally like more of a hillbilly name, but he's really he's really rebranded Zeke's. <laughs> is it? Yeah, so close. Uh, so well, close. To I, I learned so something new. I don't know any <laughs> Zeke hillbillies. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning into the free portion of this, guys. If you want to check out the fan vote, the irrational fan vote, some wind chimes, some great wind chimes on Zeke. Nye. <laughs> <laughs> what a tease. Then, of course, we've got uh, the list on Zeke Naji as well up. You're going to subscribe on thednvr.com, $5 a month. You get access to all of our premium content. We'll see you over there. Maybe the best play of the preseason from all Zeke. Excited about this one. You're going to watch him just on the perimeter now. So you got – they put – interestingly enough, so he's on the court with Bull, Chanchar, and Zeke Naji here, and you put Bull on a big, you put Can uh, Chanchar on a big, so he's actually defensively playing the three right now. Um, you know, when all three of those guys, should they ever share the court? I mean, I don't, this is third string unit, but it, it's interesting that Denver feels they can trust him on a three and then watch him here out on the perimeter. Watch him deny. This is wing type perimeter defense stuff. I mean, his ability to move. And you get the switch here, then he gets the switch back, he stays right in front of him. I love. Chanchar's activity. Now you get a switch and they read it on the backside very well. He bumps over the, uh, to Cantor and now Giles up here. And what I like here is Cantor's an elite offensive rebounder, one of the best in all of the NBA. And he's able to, in the same possession, guard the perimeter, switch multiple times, read the court on the backside, and then get the get the rebound against a very good perimeter uh, offensive rebounder. That's that's A plus stuff from Zeke Naji. Here's part of what makes Zeke a, a high-level prospect. Him switched down onto Gary Trent Jr., an extremely quick player. And just watch how he moves his feet. I mean, Denver not sending extra help here because they believe he's good enough to do this. That's his great, great defense. He opens up his hips, you know, to, to be able to keep with him, forces him to that mid-range pull-up. And, you know, even if he hits that one, I mean, forcing non-star players into pull-up mid-range jumpers is an absolute win, and he moved his feet great on that. Here's another uh, – this was one of the things that was a knock on Zeke in the draft, his ability to make these reads. So he sets the wide screen, rolls on it, receives a great pass. I mean, Faku, so good at – like this – if you actually watch this with Faku, sneaks that one in past the foot, no problem, does a good job of not rushing it. One of the things that I think bigs in particular do too often is rush this read. Like they have to get the ball out of their, their hands quickly. Pivots, finds the wide open guy, then gets it. Now, I know this seems like a simple play and a simple read, and it kind of is, but this was the knock on Zeke in college that he was really bad at making that specific read, catching on the roll and figuring out what to do with it if you weren't open to go up. So encouraging that he seems to have made progress on that.
It's a simple thing, but an important one if you're going to keep an eye on Zeke down here in the dunker spot. And this is just about movement, making this backside help side guy, who's Harry Giles, make him have to guess which side you're on and also kind of so he starts on this side because you got the pick and roll rolled action going this way. And then as soon as he catches the ball, you'll notice him as soon as Hartenstein catches it, defense now has to lock in because they're vulnerable. So he has to step up. So immediately he comes to the other side, finds the pocket, draws the foul. This is just good work in the dunker from uh, Zeke Naji. The dunker spot, by the way, is this spot right here, this spot right here, just below the basket on the baseline, right outside the painted area. It's, you know, where you stick a lot of bigs there to kind of stretch the defense, and you can grab offensive rebounds and cut from there. But here we have uh, Zeke Naji run that little curl action. He, he flares out to the corner and then really good fluid shooting motion. And this is his number one sort of like NBA skill. But if we watch it again, slow motion here, you'll see. The only thing I don't like about it is there's a little bit of a left right on his hop. He doesn't land quite balanced and he catches afterwards, but that's cut partly because of the bad pass. Super smooth, super repeatable motion. And then again, gets it off smoothly, cleanly. 100% three, three-point shooter, I believe, so far. His shot looks – I think his shot scales really well. Even though he didn't shoot it in Arizona, a, a ton of threes, it just, shot's just too beautiful. I think it's. I, I think there's no question he's going to be a, a true stretch four with some other unique tools that not all stretch fours have, including size. I get like from Will Barton here. Look at him rotate over. So you get split defense here. You get split. Not great work here by Hartenstein. So now defense is super compromised. A lot of time when you get a split here – Two guys trailing the play as they are now. The score is nine out of ten times. But Barton pre-rotates. He's got Derek Jones, who's not a great shooter, so he's able to like kind of free roam. But he anticipates this early. You see, he's above the free throw line, gets all the way over. And rather, usually this guy is over here to tag the big, but he fully commits to CJ. Is able to make contact with him, go up and uh, deter the shot. So that's a that's a play that when you get in that position up top, when you get into this spot right here, I mean, this is. You score more often than not if you're an offense, so that's a really good play by uh, Will Barton. Hey guys, welcome into Wind Chimes. I'm Harrison Wind. Nuggets rookie Zeke Naji. This guy is super interesting. I talked to a scout who watched Zeke Naji play very closely at Arizona, and his takeaway was, look, he was playing with two other super highly regarded recruits, Josh Green and Nico Mannion, and his take was, Zeke Naji got overshadowed by those guys, but it wasn't really his fault. He thought Zeke Naji was the best player on that Arizona team, of, again, next to Mannion and Josh Green. And I don't know how well Josh Green and Nico Mannion took it. This scout said that it seemed like to him that those two guys stopped just passing to Zeke Naji at some point during the season because he was outperforming them and they didn't want to get overshadowed. So I think he's got a lot more that he's capable of than he showed at Arizona. Uh, just talking to some more scouts about Zeke Naji, guys who have tracked him uh, throughout his high school and college ranks. His personality, it just lines up with the Nuggets. He is such a Nuggets guy. Uh, he's going to be an A-plus teammate, an A-plus hustle type of guy, uh, a guy who's going to definitely uh, draw the praise of Michael Malone just for his hustle, uh, just for his motor. That, that never really turns off. So from all of those aspects, he's going to fit into the Nuggets great. Welcome back into the Fan Vote. I'm Brandon Vote, and let's run through your player preview poll results for Zeke Naji. I asked you guys how you would grade the Zeke Naji pick. 68% of you gave it a B, 23% of you gave it an A. You guys were feeling the pick right off the bat, and I know you let us know that we were way too negative with that live reaction. I asked you, does Zeke Naji have a path to minutes this season? 53% of you said only if someone gets hurt, although it is worth noting that 41% of you think the backup center position is still for grabs. I think that first lot was right, though. I think Hartenstein's going to take the backup center minutes. Finally, I asked you, what excites you most about Zeke Naji? 50% of you said the motor and the hustle. I agree. This dude just plays like he loves basketball, loves to work, loves to be coached, and that's the perfect mentality for the end of a, re end of a bench player. What's up, guys? This is the Irrational Fan Take. I'm D-Line with my Irrational Fan Take. Although I, th I feel like these are fairly rational. They're not that rational. Um, Zeke Naji. 
what to make of Zeke Naji. The first uh, and most obvious thing that you notice about Zeke Naji is that he cut his beautiful, beautiful hair before being drafted by the Denver Nuggets. I feel like immediately slighted by Zeke. He comes in the league with this short, like less than haircut when we saw this, this, this beautiful, majestic mane in college. Plays the piano, we do know that. Dev is named a piano man. Um, I think he plays basketball too. I don't really, I, to be honest, I don't care. I mean, the, these are the only things I'm looking at when it comes to Zeke. And on the first point, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. On the second, I'm very interested. So Zeke, let's play some beautiful music, my man. Let's go.